What is good guys, back with another Smoke and Snack Draft game for Phase 3, we have Porsche vs Zomok this time. Looking at the teams real quick, I would say this is a Scarf Lando, most likely Scarf with Stealth Rocks, because this T-Tash should be banded. Um, the Scissor is most likely defensive, mixed defensive with Defog, Bruce, Bullet Punch and U-Turn. Uh, standard the packs, um, more spadef but with a little bit of fist death investment and with Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes is going to be nice to wear on the Tangros, so that the Coco can put in some work. Either the Coco or the Superior is going to be Z move. Superior could be Subseed or Z, Coco could be Specs or Z. Uh, looking at Zomox team, either Scarf Lando or Scarf Keldeo. And then either Z move Heatran or Z move Kyurem is my guess. Defox Scissor, Assault Vest, Tangros. That's pretty much it. And I think both players can win this game. It's going to be an interesting game for sure. We do see a Landers versus Coco lead. And we do see Intimidate goes off before Electric Terrain. So we already know that the Landers is Scarfed and it outspeeds the Coco. So. The Coco can be nice later in the game when when um, the Tangros gets run on by Rocks and by T-Spikes. So Porsche should switch into either Scissor or Landris here. He should definitely not risk his Coco. I expect Zomok to either go for U-Turn or for Rocks. Um, I'm thinking that he has Rocks on Heatran, but there's a slight chance he has Rocks on Scarf Lando. Scarf Lando does sometimes force switches and it's definitely not a bad set, Scarf Rocks Lando. So I think Zomok should just U-Turn here on the incoming Scissor slash Landris. He does go into Landers. Now we will see if he's defensive or offensive Lando. It does 10%, so he's definitely offensive. He also doesn't have a helmet. So he's most likely Scarf Lando. That's what I saw the team preview. Uh, so he can now go into either his Keldeo or his Kyurem. I guess he could also go Scissor and get a slow U-turn. Um, so he does go into his Keldeo. So now Porsche is either going to go into his Superior or his Toxapex. So he can either Scald, Fish for the Burn, or he can Calm Mind Up. Or he could double into Heatran, which would cover the Superior and the Toxapex. Because Madness Storm Heatran beats uh, Toxapex 101. And it also beats Superior, obviously, unless Superior like, subs up and dodges. Um, but yeah, if he has Scald, he can obviously fish for a burn, like I said. Um, Porsche might want to go into Superior instead of Toxapex. Because if the Scaldio is Calm Mind uh, Z move, it could be a threat to the Toxapex. So going Superior on a potential Calm Mind, maybe that's the better play. Or also Superior doesn't do that much this game because if it's HP ground it gets walled by Scissor, if it's HP fire it gets walled by Heatran. It can be a bit annoying if it's a lead sheet set but I don't think it's going to be doing that much. I still think I would double into Heatran if I'm Zomok here because it catches the tra the, the packs and the Superior. But I guess he stayed in and he just fired off a skull so he's fishing for the burn. And he does get the burn, okay. Um, the Superior does not have leftovers, so it's probably Z move Superior. See, so does just leave Storm. Um, now the Scissor slash Toxapex is really obvious here, so Zoma could double again into Heatra and covers the Scissor and the Toxapex. Um, obviously, I think Porsche is gonna go into Pex because he doesn't want to risk his Scissor on a potential HP fire from the Tangros. So there's the Heatra. Um, Zomo can now fire off a Magma Storm and get up his rocks as Porsche goes in his Tita. We'll now see from the damage if he's offensive Tita. I think that's offensive Bantar. And he can now pursue the Heatran here. Um, I guess he has to fear the Heatran being Z Flash Can. Um, so if he fears that, he can just go for Stone Edge or Crunch. As Zomok goes in the Kel, he takes a good chunk, so it's definitely Bennett. He did just Crunch. So now Porsche is most likely gonna go into his Toxapex. So he does double any Heatran that covers the Superior and the Toxapex fire play. And Zomok can just go for Madden Storm. We do see it's a Black Sludge um, Toxapex, so it's not Shed Shell. As he does go and sex his superior, okay, because he didn't really have a good switch in. Like, he could have gone a Tita, but in case this is Z Flash, can I understand why he just wanted to sex Serp? Serp wasn't doing much. Lando also takes like 70 ish from Magma Storm, so he didn't want to go to Landris. So now Zomok is going to switch, so Porsche should just U turn here. As, oh, he gets up his rocks. So he is Scarf Rocks Landris, okay. So Zomok can U turn here, so like rocking didn't really accomplish much because he's just going to U turn anyway. And now Zomok can U turn on the Toxapex. Um into either Heatran or Kyurem. He does go in Heatran and he does get Scalded. We do see the Heatran does not get leftovers back, so it's most likely Z move Heatran. So he's just gonna Magma Storm here. Porsche can either go to Tita or Landris. He doesn't wanna stay in because he, we know the Toxapex is not Chetchel. If he loses his Toxapex, then the Scissor becomes a threat. The Keldeo becomes a threat, so he definitely has to keep his Toxapex around. It can check pretty much Zomok's entire team, especially if it gets up Toxic Spikes later in the game. It's like just really nice, amazing pivot for Porsche. 
So I think he's gonna have to let either Lando or Tita take a huge hit. Um, Lando can take one Magma Storm barely. I think it would live it on like 14% or something like that. Because you also have to take the secondary effect into account from Magma Storm. So this should do like 70%. It does do 72. So Lando barely lives it. As Zomok should switch and Porsche should also U turn. He turn is so good for Zomok that he should not risk it. Porsche knows that U turns, that's the correct play. He can go into his um, Pex or his Coco here. And now you can get up a Toxic Spike. As Zomok U turns out into either Kyurum or Tangros, I would guess. Because he turn already took a skull, so he doesn't want to go to that. So he risks getting burned on his Kyurum, but he does not get burned, okay? So now you can go for HP Fire upgrading the Scissor if he has that. As Porsche goes into Landros on the Earth Power, I think he bricked the Fusion Bolt. Or he wanted to sack his Landris, is scouting for HP Fire. If Zomok has HP Fire, he should click it here. Because it would kill the Lando from the range the Lando is at, and it will also catch the Scissor on the switch. But he's life up, and he's pretty much, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have HP Fire. So Porsche can go for Roost or Bullet Punch, probably Bullet Punch, just in case the Kyurem has HP Fire. Zomok just went Landris. Um, so Porsche can either Roost or U turn here, because Scarf Lando can't do much to Scissor. I assume he Roosted. He U turned, which gives him more momentum. So this worked out better for Porsche. The thing is, I thought he would Roost to keep the Scissor as healthy as possible. To check the Kyurem as best as good as you can. So now he can go into his Titar or into. I think he's gonna go Landris because he still doesn't know if, what Z move the Heaturn is. It could be Z Cox to crash, which would probably kill the Titar, so he doesn't want to risk that. Which is why exactly he goes into Landris and he should U turn again, knowing that Zomok most likely does not have a Rocky Helmet one to kill him with U turn and knowing that Zomok needs the Heaturn because it still puts him work. Um, Whenever it comes in on packs, it puts in work, so it definitely shouldn't stay in. So he goes for rocks, which doesn't really accomplish much because the scissor can just defog here. I assume he predicted maybe the tank grows. He U turn instead of defogging, which is a bit weird. Uh, because the rocks are really annoying for his Kyurem and for his Heat Turn. So he goes Tangros and he wants to knock off the Toxapex and Black Sludge most likely. As Porsche does not allow that. And Porsche should Roost here. He could U turn to keep up offensive momentum, but Roost is also a fine play. He does U turn to keep the offensive momentum, which is understandable, okay, because he has rocks up and that he gets his Coco in. And maybe he's HP Fire or he's just gonna fire off a T Bolt. Pretty sure he specs Coco because of the Superior not having leftovers. He does Volt Switch, makes the. Okay, I. Okay. I thought he would HP fire there. He does voltage on the Tangros, so now he gets in his um Okay, his Landros to U turn to get more chip damage. And now he can go back into Scissor because Tangros cannot touch Scissor. He can also go to Toxapex, but Scissor is fine. And he can just U turn. You guys can see that there was a fire play, like U turning on Tangros, making sure I get Scissor into U turn again and Keep up offensive pressure, keep rocks up. Back into Coco, um I think HP Fire is fine if he has it, or HP Ice, because it hits Tangos and then hits Lando. Like, I don't think Volt Switching again was the play, exactly. HP uh, Fire or Ice to it KOs Tangos after Rocks, and also hits Landers. So he does double outbreak in the Heatran, because Heatran is pretty obvious on the either HP Fire or HP Ice. So he doubled into Lando, break in the Heatran, and Heatran had to take a Rocks there. And now I would U turn again if I'm Porsche, I would just keep the momentum up, just knowing that. The heat run is nice um, for Zomok. I'm pretty sure Zomok is gonna save the heat run. So, did he U turn? He did Earthquake, which is understandable because he kept U turning for a while now. So, he does just sack his Landris. Understandable that he Earthquake trying to catch Zomok because Zomok might have eventually stayed in because Porsche kept U turning. But I still would have U turned if I was Porsche just because heat run is so amazing versus him. Whenever it comes in on Pax, it puts him work. And whenever it comes in on Scissor, it puts him work. So, I did not really um, think that Zomok would risk his heat run. So Coco comes out, this Kaldeo is most likely not Scarf since the Lando was already Scarf. I did not pay attention to the damage earlier, maybe it was Specs, we, you guys could have could probably see that from the um, the Scald, from how much that did to the Sapiri, I should have known if it was Specs or not, but I, I don't remember, I think, I guess, I'm guessing it's Specs. So he does, Tangros gets 2 KO'd, so he's probably gonna go to um, Heatran, because Heatran 4 times resists Dazzling Gleam, so Porsche is most likely gonna um, pull a double switch. He does not really have a good double that predict that covers the Heatran because if he goes into his Tyranitan, the Heatran has the Flash Cannon, and the Titan would probably die. So I assume that Porsche is gonna go into Toxapex here because the Heatran is already weakened enough, which means it gets two hit KO'd from Scald. Uh, so Toxapex does beat Heatran at this point one on one. So I think I would have doubled into Toxapex there, but Zomot makes a fire play, predicting um, Porsche's double out, predicting the pack slash Tita. Um, I don't know why he doubled in the Tita because just in case the Heatran is Z Flash Cannon, 
Um, I think I'm, I think Porsche is assuming that the heat turn is the Magma Storm, which means Tita beats it. But if the heat turn is the Flash again, I think Toxapex would have been the better double. Toxapex also doesn't take much from Giga Drain because Zomok did predict the double and Giga Drained. So I think Pex would have been the better mid ground play for Porsche. But it's fine, you can just roost spam here. But he did not roost, okay. I think it would have been nice to keep the scissor healthy. I do understand he didn't want to give the heat when a free switch in. But I still would have roosted with scissor. As the Pex is now going to go for Scald here. Zomok's uh, lander would obviously um, not kill the Pex with Earthquake. Because um pretty sure it's mixed defensive. Earthquake would do like maybe 65 or 70. Yeah, 70 I would say. Did he knock off the packs yet? Um, I don't remember if he knocked it off. I don't think he did. So he might go into Tangros here if he doesn't want to lose his Lando just yet. The thing is, Lando only has one more rock switch in. Uh, Porsche is definitely going to scald here in case the Lando stays in to offquake him. Because he doesn't have offquake switch in since he let his scissor get that low, so he's forced to scald here. Yeah, I'm guessing Zomok is um, just going to offquake here. No, he did the switch in the heat run. So Heatran is gonna get 2 8 KO'd and the thing is the land only has one more rock switch in. So he does get his rocks up, but he sacks his Heatran. So he wears rocks, most likely Z-move trend. He's now gonna go into either Kyurem or Tangros. I mean, I do understand that he kept his landers around, but now he set up rocks with his Tran, which means he kinda doesn't want to default because he just set up rocks, so Porsche can now get up Toxic Spikes. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of that series of plays, because you did sack your trend to set up rocks, which means you don't want to defog, but now you have to defog, because you get up the toxic spikes, your scissor also risks getting burned, and your landers only has one more rock switch in, so at that point I would have just off-quick the packs with the lando maybe, um, because now you have to, kind of have to defog, and now if you go into tank rows, you get overwhelmed by rocks, toxic spikes, Plus, um, there's a gleam slash volt switch or hidden power fire. If he has hidden power fire, that is definitely the play to make here. As he does have hidden power fire, it does just kill the scissor. And I think Porsche has this game in the back. The Scarf Lando comes out. I know he, that's the reason why Zomo kept the Lando, because it can check the Coco. But it can only check the Coco one time. So now Porsche is forced to sack something. He does sack the Titar. And he can now go in the scissor and click bullet punch or in the tox packs and click scald. So this game is going to be close, but I think the rocks and the T-Spikes are really huge for Porsche. Um, yeah, I think he's just going to go in the scissor and he's forced to click bullet punch. Because keeping tox packs healthy is really nice for Porsche. Because tox packs, a healthy tox packs, they can click recover when there's toxic spikes up that hit the Kyurem, the Tangros, and the Keldeo. And he's able to be healthy and wear them down that's just amazing for Porsche. so i think he wants to go into scissor instead of toxapex because he wants to keep the packs super healthy and yeah so i can just click bullet punch and if the lando switches out it cannot come back in because it dies to rocks so that means uh, tapu coco also becomes a huge threat to uh, zomok and pretty much gets a kill whenever it comes in on the Kelio. so you should just go scissor and click bullet punch not sure why it's taking so long maybe calking or thinking through the end game Maybe making sure that doesn't gleam or um, whatever but play he makes later with Coco gets him a kill guaranteed. But Scissor and Bullet Punch should beat the play and Zomok is forced to sack his Landris because if he switches, there's no point in doing that. He dies to rocks, I already said that. Um, but yeah, cool, cool game for sure, it's gonna be close. And But I think that the Toxic Spikes plus rocks and po Toxic Spikes being super fat, Pax plus Coco, I think it's gonna win this for Porsche. Um, yeah, the only play that I would have made different is I would have, like, um, instead of doubling to Tita early, I would have doubled to Pax if I'm Porsche on the one turn where he got caught by the Giga Drain. And I also would have maybe roosted with, my, with the scissor to keep it healthy. But I do understand that he wanted to keep offensive momentum up. So I cannot say much against that play. The only play, like I said, was the one where he doubled in the Tita where he should have gone to Pax, in my opinion. So he does go scissor. And he can just blow a punch here, obviously, as Zomok is forced to sack. And now Zomok can go to Keldeo slash... Yeah, yeah, he's forced to go into Keldeo. Because if Tangos comes in, Scissor can roost. If Kyurem comes in, it takes rocks plus bullet punch. So he does keep the Scissor as farther. He goes on the packs, and uh, Zomok does get the burn, which is nice for Zomok. But I don't think he can beat the Toxic packs. So Pax is just going to click recover here. Uh, Zomok is going to switch out in the Kyurem. And he's going to be forced to roost because he's going to take Sandstorm damage. 
Skull damage and poison damage. So does he even lift this? He barely lives it, I think. Uh, Porsche did not recover. Not the biggest fan of that play. I would have recovered for sure. Uh, I think Porsche is maybe gonna s expect the roost here, but I don't think he can risk his pecs dying. He does sack off his scissor to the rocks, but Zomok should roost predicting that. Yes, great play by Zomok. That's why I thought, like, I do understand why he sacked the scissor, because if he stayed in and the Kyurem attacked, he lost his packs and he pretty much lost the game. But it was also pretty obvious that the scissor was going to be sacked off there. So another Coco just clicks. Uh, Dazzling Gleam and gets a kill. If the, I don't remember how healthy the Tangros is. If the Tangros doesn't get Oko, it gets to it killed by Gleam, which is why he's forced to sack something. Then he can go into Tangros. And now, it gets poison, it takes rocks. Porsche can just switch into his um, Toxic packs here. And if Zomok double, doubles on the packs, he still has to take rocks and poison on the Kyurem, so he's in a tough spot. I think he's just gonna click Giga Drain or Earthquake here. He's probably gonna click Giga Drain just in case the Coco stays in, because that might uh, higher his chances to lift two specs Dazzling Gleams while being poisoned. If he Giga Drains, he gets a little bit of health back, which can be helpful. So Porsche should go in the packs here, I think. But yeah, even if the double into Kyurem comes, the, the poison just helps Porsche a lot. So this is... The poison just helps him out so much. He can just recover here. I don't think Earthquake would kill from Tangoros. So Porsche is going to recover here. And he does eat that up. So he pretty sure he has some fist dev investment because that only did 29. I think the max per death packs it would have done like 34 ish. Maybe it was also a low roll, not sure. But yeah, Porsche can just recover again, even if the Tangro's Giga drains. It doesn't really get much back because it's poison. And electric terrain is gonna run out soon, so even if Zoma goes Kyurem here, the, the terrain is gonna end like one turn after the Kyurem comes out. Which means Fusion Bolt would do less. Actually, I don't know if he has Fusion Bolt. He shot Elf Power and Ice Beam if I recall correctly and Roost. Yeah, the last move should still be Fusion Bolt because he did not have HP Fire. If he had HP Fire, he should have gone for it earlier, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it. So the reason my Porsche is Scalding is because he doesn't want to let the Kyurem come in. Um, Scald plus Poison plus Rocks would do a lot to the Kyurem. So I think Porsche should recover again here. Just to have this, um, have this Toxapex super healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Burn Nerf is just really amazing for the packs. So now he goes to the Kyurem. And if he scalded, I think the Kyurem just dies to poison as he does just do as he did just scald. Yeah, the game is over. As Tangros is poison and it cannot win the game. As even if he crits, um, he would be put in range from Scald plus Poison. So he would die to Specs Tapu Coco, I'm pretty sure. And Toxabex can just spam recover here and the game is over. Or he just clicks Scald, he's not a scum and doesn't recover sp doll at the end. So he does give him his Toxapex and then he wins with the Coco, a close 1-0. Um, I'll be back with more Smog and Snake Draft action. Maybe tomorrow. Um, I already uploaded another game earlier, you guys can check that out. It's going to be linked at the end of the video. You should see it right now on your screen, just click right there. Thank you for watching, hope you all enjoyed. And yeah. I think it was a cool game, yeah. It, like it's 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 cool because it was close. Like some of these games were like um, pretty one-sided. And yeah, have a fantastic guy. Did I say guy? I meant have a fantastic day. Smash the like button. And I just ruined my my outro. But yeah, peace out, friends. <laughs> and I have more games from Porsche coming, so stay tuned for that. I also have more games from Zomog. I have Zomog vs. Brofist coming. Stay tuned for that as well. Peace out.